Kidnapping tips, ladies, pay attention, pay attention. Now y'all already know like the basics, like um, the air tags. You know, you got weirdos and human traffickers and kidnappers, and, you know, men that want to take your kids. I mean, uh, yeah, your kids and they want to take your goods, you know, your goods from you. Um, when I say human traffickers, I don't mean like the truck drivers just uh, putting immigrants in the back of their trailers and getting all the money. I'm talking about the ones that are going to take you to the house and rape you or take you behind these woods and take your goods. So it's different human traffickers, but, you know, we're talking about kidnappers. So for that, you know, they're trying to take your goods and, you know, just trying to have sex with you against your will. So you got to be careful of these, especially when y'all come into places like this, Home Depot, uh, Target. I had to wait for the noise, but like when y'all come to Home Depot, y'all come to Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Publix, uh, Harris Teeter, it don't matter. Um, any local grocery store, it don't matter. Like, you got to be careful with these, like, especially like the mall and shit like that. Because you got, y'all got to understand, like, the kidnappers, they're going to be watching. They sitting in the cars, tinted out, vans, trucks, pickup trucks. Not really like Corvettes. When you see the Corvettes and stuff like that, the sport cars, they ain't, if somebody just sitting in there, they just probably just sitting in there chilling, talking on the phone. They ain't, ain't nobody kidnapping nobody driving sports, like expensive cars. So when y'all see expensive cars, you really ain't got to have your tennis up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe only on like Robin. Like if some niggas, some, you know, Jack boys could have a little foreign or something. But, you know, niggas in Lamborghinis and stuff like that, you, you good. Ferraris, Wraiths, you good. But, um, yeah, they watch, they, they watching in them cars. So when y'all walking inside the store, you don't need to be in your phone. You need to be paying attention. You need to be trying to look. You need to be looking at cars that's tinted out and it's running. If the car running, you need to be paying attention, like when you're walking in the store. So when you come out the store, especially if you've been in there about an hour, 45 minutes, two hours, especially like the mall, you know, you got to have your attendance up. So when you're walking from the store, you know, you need to have that gun at reach. You need to have a taser, whatever. But y'all women, y'all need to be having a gun. Even if you're a convicted felon, you got to take that chance. You got to take that risk. Like, you can't, like, you got to have that gun on you or have a uh, your man with you. But if you got your man with you, you good. You really, really need to be paying attention to your surroundings. Like, y'all got these kids and y'all don't be paying attention to these cars. And they just be watching. But I'm going to say this. If you got, if you open and carrying your pistol, in your holster and they see it they are not going to pick you to put this under your car because they see you got a gun and they see that you open the carrying so they know you may know something or you'll use it and if it's a big gun like it's a clock 19 or something where they can see a xd or something fn or something they see it ain't one of them little purple pink little smaller teeny little guns y'all love women y'all love to carry them little small especially my black women y'all love to carry them little small tiny guns now nah, think big you gotta think big bitch you gotta think big so get your big gun with the holster they ain't gonna they ain't gonna put this under you they gonna she might fight that thing she might kill something let me let me pick somebody else with a family you know what i'm saying don't be looking in your phone like be paying attention like damn she on point like they they pay attention to that like that's why they pick y'all because you know um, y'all don't be paying attention like y'all just being la la land looking cute and shit so now nah, you gotta think about that open carry you know now of course you can't really open and carry in a mall and stuff like that but uh, going to a grocery store Home Depot Target uh, you might want to consider when you walking in the parking lot and then once you get towards the door you can hide the gun or you can throw it in your purse yeah or your, you can throw it in your bag or something so you gotta keep that in mind. Now, of course, like on TikTok, it been, you know, many videos, they showing the money and all that stuff. You know, that's cool, but that may not happen to you. Like, ain't nobody really leaving no money like that. It can happen, it does happen, but, uh, no, it ain't. It's plenty of other better ways, cause you can easily take that and, you know, somebody can just walk past and see the money and they don't even drive that car and take it. You see what I'm saying? So y'all gotta think, ladies, a lot of men not gonna, put that right there <laughs> anybody like it's a lot of people just walk beside cars they'll take the money and they walking or driving another car it could be a man to take that money so 
uh, ain't, gonna, ain't nobody finna just keep walking up to no car. And then you gotta understand, a lot of people got dash cams. They got these dash cams. So they're not really gonna be putting money right there. Now, the person, the camera didn't got their face. So you see the high risk with that? Like, ain't nobody really doing that like that. So, I mean, ain't nothing wrong to notice, like, it can happen and they can't be ski masked up and all that stuff, but come on now, ain't nobody. But yeah, they'll put the money right there. Then you got the zip ties. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of doors, you can't even put no zip tie on it. Yeah, a lot of doors, you can't even put no zip tie. You can't even put no, uh, uh, a napkin with some shit that'll make you pass out and all that there and put the zip tie on it and all that there. Some doors, a lot of doors, but a lot of doors you can't, especially with forms and shit like that. And you can't put no zip tie to no Challenger or no, um, like Corvette or, you know, cars like that. Um, forms and shit like that. Yeah, vans and stuff like that, but it's a lot of cars that you can't do that. So you ain't really got to worry about that. You'll know, like, you know, if you see something with a zip tie on it. And not to uh, cut the zip tie off. You know, call the police and pull your gun out. That's the main thing. When you see something fishy, you pull your gun out. That's what you do. Pull that gun out. If you don't have a gun, you back away. You back away and you just call 911. You know what I'm saying? But the main one, the one that can get you, that can buy, see, as a kidnapper, you know, a real kidnapper, if he's smart and he's a pro, he trying to buy as much time with the victim, right? So guess what he gonna do? Y'all see this bottle right here, right? Now, if a woman telling y'all about this, she gonna say, they gonna put the bottle right here. They gonna put the bottle right here. So you gotta bend down and get the bottle and then they come behind you and get you. That's cool and all, but a vet, a real veteran kidnapper, yeah, he may have a bottle, but he not gonna, like put it right here it's too easy to move or put a bag right there a smart human trafficker see y'all should listen to me don't listen to them listen to me a smart human trafficker gonna bust the bottle and make a whole bunch of glass he gonna bust it at home not even bust it on the scene nah he gonna bust it at home and um make a whole bunch of glass and spread the glass all right here he gonna spread the glass all right here over the ground that way it buys him enough time and because you got to think if it's a bottle right here right like he may need it could be a bottle right here and you move it but he may need about another two or three minutes because it's people coming it's people like it could be another person that's getting into the car while you getting into your car so now he that's a fair mission so listen to me he gonna you know spread the glass all around it could be on both sides because he done broke up glass at his house and that buys him at least five to ten minutes because you you know you may try to sweep it you may try to like what the hell you can think that you ran over the glass and you ain't see it when you got out the car and he can spread the glass over the tire to make you think that you ran it over and that it was there when you pulled up and you weren't paying attention you see what I'm saying? Instead of just having the glass, like, spread it out right here. And it ain't over your tire. See, you got to think smart. You got to think smart. You got to think like a human trafficker. But how could you think like a human trafficker when you never did that, duh? So that's why you should listen to me. Understand? So, um, yeah, like, that's what he going to do. He going to spread that glass if he's smart and he not no rookie. You see what I'm saying? He going to spread that glass and you going to bend down, try to, you know, you going to look at your tire. Even if you think something suspicious, you still going to look at your tire and make sure your tire not flat. Because guess what he did? He spread that glass all over your tire. You understand that, ladies? So I'm trying to, that's why you should, don't worry about me explaining it to you. So dark, or you thinking that I do something like this because I don't do nothing like this, but I just know what to do. So you see, you see, I got to give it to you dark. You know, if I don't give it to you dark and give it to you like the females give it to you on TikTok, see, you still going to be clueless and you still going to get got. So you got to hear it from a dark web type of guy. You understand that? So uh, just listen to the message. Like, that's what's going on with that right there. So <laughs> what you should do is pull your gun out and turn your back to the opposite side. So if you didn't back up against like a wall or a tree turn your back towards that and look at your surroundings as soon as you see glass you get up and you look at your surroundings that's what you do if you got triple a you just call triple a you don't try to fix the problem you just call triple a 
you understand? But you get up with your gun out. As soon as you see something like that, you always pull your gun out. Pull that gun out. If you don't got a gun, I can't help you. I don't know what to do, but say, I don't know what to tell you, but say, call the police and back away. But, you know, it depends on how much time that you take, you know, um, uh, trying to fix this or see if your tire flat or trying to listen for an air sound coming out the tire or just looking at the ground. You understand that? Because guess what the kidnapper going to do when he get out the car? Because a real kidnapper, he ain't really trying to make no gun sound. You understand? Like, he ain't really trying to make no loud noise. Yeah, maybe a scream or something like that, you know. Somebody could think that's a kid or something. But not no loud bang because, you know, we in the parking lot, you know. And that's why he'll try to do it late night. But, yeah, he in the parking lot, and he got to move real fast. So, guess what he going to do when he walk behind you and you kneeling down like I'm doing? He going to come behind you. And he going to spray you with this. You see this? He going to spray you with this. At the same time, he going to spray you with this. Guess what he going to do? You can put that right there. He going to spray you with that best spray. That best spray going to fuck you up, ladies. It's going to fuck you up. But before you scream, because you're going to scream, he going to hit you with this. He gonna hit you with this, real taser. He gonna hit you with this at the same time while he's spraying you. Don't you understand? And then his buddy gonna bring a van like that in front of your car. Cause he gonna have a teammate. He ain't gonna be so low. A real vet, a real veteran kidnapper, human trafficker. He gonna have somebody driving. They gonna then push you into that van unless that you driving one. If you driving a van, now nah, that's all good too. But at the same time, he put glass right here so he ain't really trying to take your car because he put glass right here so he gonna pull up he gonna pull up behind your car with his car his van you see what i'm saying and if he too deep he can really get the job done fast and quick so listen ladies he gonna hit you with this at the same time hit you with this and that's gonna guess what this gonna do that's gonna turn down your screaming and when you lift that up the beam come out, the flashlight, so wherever he aim at, it's going to hit you. And then if he miss, he reload. He take it out right there, right here, and then he reload. You see what I'm saying? So, ladies, you got to really, like, pay attention to what I'm saying. Like, you got to really, like, think about that. If you got that gun, if you walk up on you, behind you, and you see that gun, he may turn around. He may turn around because you still can, you might can take the uh, best spray. You make him take this for a little bit, or you make him see, he make a miss, and you shoot him, or you hear his footsteps, and you shoot him. Just the gunshots alone to bring a lot of attention, so he don't want that. He don't, nobody want that. No criminal want that. And ladies, pay attention. When y'all jogging at night, late night, uh, daylight, it don't matter. A little back cut like this. Ain't nobody working here, and you see, they don't got no cameras. You see that? So a real kidnapper, he gonna case that. Ain't no cameras. Where the cameras at? But where they at, though? Yeah, so, yeah, when y'all jogging, trying to get y'all little uh, jog on, and y'all trying to be healthy and stay in shape because y'all got y'all BBL, or y'all know y'all work hard for it, right? Ain't nothing wrong with it. When you taking cuts like this, you could have a dog with you, and that could help, but if the dog ain't no aggressive dog, <laughs> It's just a dead dog. Hey, what Gucci man say? I run run from my dog. Glock 40, leave a dog ass stuck to the wall. Beat you with a pistol, try to tear off your arm. Ten shot close, make you cough up a lung. So yeah, we ain't running from no dog. So understand, the dog cool, but if it ain't no, if it ain't like that, shit, it ain't gonna help you. You need your gun. You need your gun. Or don't even take no paths, no cuts like this. It's too many woods. It's too many woods. So. And then when you when you go up here right through this path, you know, you come out at the Target, at the Lowe's, at the grocery stores and all that there. But there's a lot of monsters in the woods. And what if the monster, the demon, you know, the one that want to take your goods, the, uh, uh, the human trafficker, what if he got this on? What if he got this on? And he in the cut. He could be in the cut. You know, I definitely could put it up, cover my face and all that there. But I ain't got to do all that there. He in the cut. He blended in with the woods. He blended in with the woods. Or if you come up here, right, through the cut, like you made it through there, but you got to come back because you, because it's apartments down here. It's apartments down there. So you're going to come back. I seen you when you came up, so I'm going to catch her when she come back, right? Look, you see now, all the stores right there. 
when you come back, I'm behind there. I'm behind that tree. I'm behind this right here. You coming through the thing. Look, you see how I curve? You coming through the thing. I'm right here. I'm right here. And I got this in my hand. I got this in my hand. I'm right here. I got this. You ain't got no gun. Now, if you got a dog, nah, it could help you out. But if I tase you and I shoot the dog, and it ain't nobody out here, ain't nobody working at nighttime, you know, ain't no cars out there really. You see what I'm saying? So, oh, I got this taser because I don't want to make no loud bang unless you got a dog. Or if I don't really, if I see a lot of people coming through, I don't got to, I'll let you go past. I don't get the girl who got the dog. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. And when you walk past, you know, I'm ducked off in the cut. When you walk past, I hit you with this. Then I spray you. And then what if the guy's sick and he just, you know, have his way with you right here. He ain't trying to kidnap you. He just trying to have his way with you in the woods. So ladies, I got to think about that because it's a lot of guys that want to do that to y'all. And I got to explain it like this to you so you can understand. Understand that black woman, white woman, Asian woman, Mexican woman, Chinese woman. Y'all need that gun. If, I, if I'm watching y'all and I'm paying attention, when I say if I'm, I'm talking about like if I'm one of them. If I'm watching y'all and I see that you got a gun because you open and carrying or you can get to it and you can sit it, you can get to it. I'm not going to mess with you I'm because I'm paying attention. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at your waistline. I'm looking at your, if you got a bag on you, that's what I'm looking at. But if you got your headphones on, don't be having no headphones on. You need to be listening for sounds. Because look, it's uh, winter, It's fall time, winter time. The leaves, they falling. So you'll hear all my movements. You'll hear it. If I fart anything, you'll hear it. But if you got your headphones on, you ain't gonna hear shit. So never do that. Don't do that. Don't wear no headphones. And unless you like, no, nah, never do that. Unless you in the gym. Gym, not outside. You need to hear everything, even the an animal. Y'all need this for animals. So nah, man, you need to have that gun out. When you get up to cuts like this, you need to go ahead and pull your gun out. Don't have it still tucked. Pull your gun out so somebody watching you in these woods. You know how dark it is? It ain't no lights. It ain't no lights, ladies. So and imagine how y'all's is, like how y'all cuts is. It ain't no lights. So you need your gun in your hand and then when you get when you get all the way up here at the end then you can tuck your gun back in. So now nah, man you wanna make sure you got that shit out in your hand, I'm telling you. Cause these niggas out here, man, these men, they gonna do you dirty. Hide behind that tree. How could you see me behind that tree and I got this on? How? Nighttime. <laughs> the taser, it can reach you. I ain't gotta walk up on you and hit you. Yeah. Look, I ain't gotta walk up on you to hit you with this. This shit go 35 feet, 40 feet. Then you got something that go farther than that. Like, just, this is an example right here. But that taser, that taser gonna hit you. And then I can walk up on you and get to you some more with the taser and this. So come on, ladies. You know y'all can't take that shit. I ain't gonna be able to take that. And nigga just drag you behind there. Or, the, or he just, uh, and then when he's done with you, he can just throw you down there, down that hill or throw you in that dumpster or whatever. Or that dumpster. You see what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. Like, it ain't no cameras. It ain't no lights. So you got to understand, like, this is a dangerous path walk without no weapon, without no dog, without nothing. So, y'all, <laughs> I got to be real careful and pay attention. And when y'all need help, you come to my Instagram and I give you more game. When you need more videos, you let me know. Like, hey, man, can you do a video? Can you do a story on this? This happened to my sister. This is the details. Can you tell us how to... How she could have got about this situation. And I'm going to give it to you. Because I love my women now. I love my women now. So, yeah, man. That's what it is, man. Go.